Oh my god. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day, everybody. Hello. I don't know if you can tell. No one's here yet. No nobody, one is nobody's here. here. It's Valentine's. It's Valentine's Day. Are you guys and not no showing up here? for her? You got to okay, show up for her. <laughs> Come on, people. It's Valentine's Day. Woo! Get your crap together. <laughs> Get on the Facebook Live. <laughs> this chick wants to celebrate Valentine's Day with you. Valentine's Day. Come on, everybody. Oh. All up in here. Get your coffee. <laughs> Let's get this party started. <laughs> hey, Michael. <laughs> All right, we got some people trickling. It's slow today. I what? Mean, it's like what is it? Did you guys people? all stay home to have relations with your spouse? <laughs> is that what's going on? Because it's appropriate and private. <laughs> is that what's going on? Is that what it is? <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Greatest day of the year. Okay, listen. I did. I, I, I usually wear all black, but I thought to myself. She's got a color. I'm kind of in the color wheel. It's like yeah. I got It's like I got punched in the face by Valentine's. I've got like the bruising. Like I'm, <laughs> it's like I've had the bruising color of Valentine's. <gasps> That's what I am. And we got from one of our favorite followers, Kieran, sent us Sherry's berries. Can you guys even? I can't. I We've cannot. already dug into those this morning. <laughs> Thank so you. So sweet. Thank you, Kieran. Um, and it is the 20th anniversary of the day I got engaged. Oh my god! Oh, you guys are so sweet. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> so I love this day. Um, but we have other things to talk about besides just Valentine's Day. I guess we should mention the Bill Barr thing. That's like all the big news. Bill right Barr, now because he's like, quit tweeting. <laughs> right. Bill Barr is like, your tweets, Mr. President, make my job a little bit harder okay. than it needs to be. So and if you could just not. We should probably discuss why he did that out like in public rather than doing it in private. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I only have a theory about okay. that. Okay. Yeah. So I, that's what we always do is we theorize <laughs> it. But I mean, it's not like we, it's not like these people talk to us. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, some people are upset that, um, you know, that, that William Barr did this interview in which he said the thing about Trump's tweets. And they're like, why wouldn't he have just gone to Trump directly to yeah. say that? And I think it's because he wants to limit their contact right now in light of the fact that everybody's like, oh my God, they're so in cahoots to do bad things. Yeah. I think it. I think it's helpful for Trump that Barr and him don't talk a lot. You know, yeah. I just think for appearances sake. Which is dumb because I mean, it's it is is kind of dumb because de Democrats should know because Dem Democrats are like, he handpecked him. <laughs> well, that's, that's how that's it works. That's what they're supposed to do. I mean, that is how that works. Yeah, that's that's how Eric Holder and that's that's how it that's how all this works. Yeah, but so, but, but I, I guess he feels like this yeah. is a good. Way. I don't know. We're theorizing. We're theorizing. Is, that's because I was like really worried when that came out. I was like, oh my god, Trump, do not get defensive about this. Do not go after William Barr. He is such an asset. Do not f this up. And right? what is his? Has he responded? Well, the White House has responded only to say he's not mad. Like that Trump is fine with Barr's mm -hmm. comments, it's fine, yeah. everything's fine. And he so should I be. hope that that's true. He should be, because be. Bill, cause Barr's a gangster, man. He is he's, a He he's can't a afford gang. to lose him. No, he's a gangster. So he just needs to not... He's one of his best peeps. Yeah. So anyway, that is happening. And also, Ashley Judd, who you may recall from a few days ago, um, did a video for Elizabeth Warren's campaign in which she looked basically unrecognizable. She looked like she was stung by tracker jackers <laughs> in the Hunger Games. <laughs> right. I mean, it's, we're just keeping it real. We're keeping it real. And like, there were some people that got all mad, but oh my gosh, before we go on with that, can I remind everybody, you know what I saw yesterday? I don't know if you know that on our Facebook page, there is a place where people can rate our Facebook page and leave reviews about our Facebook page. <laughs> and we have been swarmed with trolls. <gasps> really? Swarmed, you guys. All of a sudden, like the the latest comments all on our Facebook page are like, these girls are racist, bigot, jerks, <laughs> and we hate them. So if you if you like our page, and why? You because like our we're videos, we're white conservative women. Yeah. So therefore, we're racist. And they're they're obviously people who have never even spent time on I our mean, page, just, but can they you just please hate us. be original. Like right. we've just been hearing that for the past eleven years. It's just, I'm so. <laughs> but if you wouldn't mind just taking some time on yeah. our Facebook page and leaving a review and like rating it just to I knock the this. trolls out because the trolls are like out of control right now yeah. and they're bringing our page rating down yeah that's not cool which is and they're not obviously even they don't even read the page mm -hmm. so they're just doing it to be jerks and yeah it's kind of like on our Facebook group um, we have a question like who are the administrators of this group 
and um, you would not believe some of the answers we get for what? that question. I mean, just Joe and Bob. You know, what I mean, like they. You know, know. Know. Like people just, they want to get into the group so they control. <laughs> right. And they have no idea who we are. They have no idea that it's just, it's funny. It's <laughs> just some of the, some of the answers that we get or just, or people that are, are, you know, coming in and trying to troll from other countries. Yeah. Who, and they just, some of the, some of the answers that we get are quite amusing. So anyway, if you so, wouldn't mind just trying to balance out the trolling, because we would appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, that would that would be great. People are being jerks right now. That anyway, would be great. Yeah. so, so um, Ashley Judd, Ashley, face. and so a lot, and there was one woman in particular who was so mad at us, or me, I guess specifically for um, criticizing Ashley Judd in any way, because how dare you? Because she's on steroids. Well, no, she's not, and we'll talk about that. But the <laughs> fact of the matter is, this woman commented on all of those troll posts. So not only did she leave a terrible review for us, but then she also commented, yeah, these girls are so awful. Listen to what they said about Ashley oh Judd. Oh, my God, she's totally she's in, out love. Of control. She's in love with Ashley Judd. Yeah, it's like and Ashley Judd's a, best friend or get something. Get a life. So anyway, Ashley Judd has now responded officially to the hullabaloo, and what makes me so mad is that she used that word. I use that word. I don't want to be using words that Ashley Judd uses, so now I feel like I can't ever say hullabaloo again. You can, you can say it. It's totally fine. She wrote a big essay on her Facebook page. I'm in the middle of writing a post about it for our website, chicksontheright.com. Is it really an essay? Is it like yeah, a, this is like what a she does. Soliloquy. It's and a, she, this is how okay. she is. All right. And so she is chalking up the change in her appearance to her siege migraines. <sighs> Do you want to address this? I just, because I, listen, I have chronic migraine. We've talked about this before here on this in this forum. I, mean, I cannot. There is her. a siege migraines are a bunch of bull crap. First of all, there is not a single medical outfit, practice, journal, organization whatsoever. If you Google siege migraines, you know what comes up? Ashley Judd, because it's not a thing. <laughs> it's not an actual thing. I just. But the thing about Ashley is that she needs to have migraines in a more yeah. intense well, and and like profound way than because anybody else. She has celebrity migraines. <laughs> right. She has celebrity. So she's she has, named them. They're celebrity. It's celebrity Ashley Judd migraines. So she's special. I just. I don't understand why she doesn't go out and get a preventative. They have wonderful preventatives out there that you can. Tr I've tried them all. It's taken me what thirty years to figure out a good. Preventative. Well, to be but fair, it's taken the pharma industry that long. It's taken the pharma. Right yeah, thing. you're damn right. It's it's yeah, Bernie Sanders. You can suck it. <laughs> what are you going to bring me into this? I love what are you going to bring me into your migraines, <laughs> Daisy? <laughs> Shut up, Bernie. Pharma's awesome. Better living through chemistry. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to talk to you guys. Seriously, I get like 15 to 20 migraines a month without a preventative. That's that is the honest to god truth. So, yeah, I mean, you might even say she is sieged by them. <laughs> <laughs> now, Ashley Judd says that because she's Ashley Judd and everything, again, is so yeah, vastly more intense yeah, for Ashley Judd than true. anybody else. Mm -hmm. So she literally made up a condition and then she admits in the essay that she gets 31 Botox injections every 12 weeks. Yeah. Which she didn't want to admit, and she's afraid people will distort. I'm like, how do you distort that? I have, You're literally a, just saying it. No, um, it's a Marie. Is it Marisha? I actually, that's the one thing I have not tried. The one, the one thing is Botox. I just didn't want to do that. That's I a lot. I just didn't want to do it. Um, I know that a lot of women do Botox, and I'm, I'm keeping it real. A lot of people or women will do Botox because they can also get the cosmetic benefits in their face, and I didn't want to do that. I just didn't want to. Just keeping it real. But she did, and she does, and she's admitting that in her essay. I'd rather have all the, yeah. <laughs> and then she's also saying <laughs> that because of her yeah. siege migraines, the last of which lasted four and a half months, and she was like all hospitalized and eating pie the whole time, apparently, yeah. she's gained a bunch of weight. So as most people suspected, it's weight gain and Botox. It has zero to do with prednisone. And it has everything to do with what everybody thought it had to do with. Yeah. And so there it is. Now, she made the entire essay about um, being... Someone will be injecting it in me today. <laughs> I think he takes great joy in doing that. You're out there, honey. I know you do. Hi, Rob. Hi. Happy yeah. Valentine's Day, Rob! Oh, oh my God. <laughs> He's like, oh, Jesus. She is insane, you guys. Okay, do we have any questions? Yeah, it's Q&A uh, day. Q all up in here. We lost some people because apparently we froze for a minute. Amavig is the Amavig is the same as Mgality. Basically, they're oh, like, is that right? They're kind of the same. They're very similar, but they're the support groups are kind of 
they're together, like they talk, but they're basically the same. Okay, I didn't know that those were the same thing. Because I've seen that word. I think they as have well. the same mechanism, whatever, the same. They're kind of the same. Broadcast interrupter. What? I know. I think people are coming back in because we were like around, it was higher, but now people are coming back in. <clears throat> um, back out of the video, then come back in. Yeah, that's a great idea. Any questions? What are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? Yeah, what are all the plans? I'm not taking these off. It's Valentine's Day. Yeah, don't, she'll get. She'll get rabid. I, I yeah. saw this yesterday at my local Dairy Queen. Yeah, what? They have a two-person special for Valentine's Day. What's that? It's a three-course meal for twenty dollars. Really? Like three-course meal. That and at, their burgers are good. Dairy Queen, yeah. Is it like a, people. Is it a burger? It's like chicken tenders and stuff. And there's all the options. So like, you get an appetizer. You can get like a salad or like one of those appetizer. I am down. Plates. I am down for that. And a Dairy like, Queen. Yeah, and then like, like a, a main course, and then like you get like ice cream at the end. Mm -hmm. And it's two people for 20 bucks. And that's White Castle awesome. does a big Valentine's hullabaloo, too. I think that's awesome. I'm all about that. Yeah, White Castle, they take reservations. Which what? I, well, yeah, but the yeah, thing is, just on this day. It's kind of too late. Most of the ones around here are already booked for White I Castle. I feel like you woke your husband up with that ensemble on. Yeah. Well, I was dressed. I didn't have the glasses on because they were here, but I was dressed when I woke him up. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I, I wake up before I was picturing like with the glasses and Probably. everything. Probably, yeah. Ron, wake up, it's Valentine's Day. I mean, I did yeah. do that, but I wake him up every morning to say goodbye, so that was nothing unusual. <laughs> we don't, I don't have any plans tonight, but tomorrow we're going to the rodeo. Woo! Here in town. It's like the world's greatest rodeo. Woo! <laughs> yeah! We're doing and I, we're going to a lacrosse game tonight, and then we're celebrating tomorrow. We're doing our romantic dinner tomorrow. Yeah, that's she's all romance, and I'm like, let's kick it up and do the rodeo and see some crab legs and, and scallops at home. Look at Yum! That. that sounds good. Yum! That does sound amazing. Oh, Fort Myers! You're going Sunset to Sunset on, on the, the Beach. beach. That sounds, oh my God! I love that. That sounds lovely. That I sounds that. really. I'm so jealous. I want beach. That sounds really nice. Can we come up with a commercialized anti-Valentine's Day for us singles? Well, p some people call it Galentine's Day. Yeah, they or do. Or they go whatever. out with friends. Yeah, they do like friend stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, you can make this day whatever you want it to yeah, be. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the rodeo. It'll be super fun. going to have a physical. Okay. okay listen. <laughs> listen, that's, it's all it's good. It's not a terrible thing to do. Physicals are important. You love yourself, and that is awesome. Single Awareness Day. I've heard it called that as well. Yeah. So there you go. Dinner with my husband. Bought th some things for his cycling workouts. Awesome. That's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. Where is the rodeo? The rodeo is downtown in Indianapolis. Um, it's it's downtown. I don't know where. I don't know, honey. You can pipe in. I know you're out there somewhere. I'm not from Texas, but my husband and I have a little place in Texas outside of Waco. We have a little um, a little ranch. <gasps> Flying to London and then meeting her husband in Paris. <gasps> Wow. That sounds amazing. That so fancy. Amazing. So fancy. Lovely evening with my three cats. Thank you. I have a Texas cup. Yes, I do. <laughs> That's my second home, and I love it. We're going to retire there one day. I can't get there fast enough. If Hallmark can create a card, it's legit. It's That's legit. totally how That's I feel. It's true. I love this day. Palestine's Day. I don't know. Yesterday was National Radio Day. Did you know that? I didn't. We should have. Yeah. Shouldn't we have? We known probably. That? We, well, we probably should have <laughs> celebrated in some way. Did you see? There's a clip um, going around right now. You guys have rushed Limbaugh from his show yesterday because during one of his segment breaks, a, a, a caller called into his show and offered him a lung. And he literally, I mean, he like got all emotional oh about it. Oh my it was so God, sweet. are you serious? So sweet. Oh my gosh. So sweet. He's like overcome with the response that he's received he's to his illness. To be, is he, that really happened? Yeah. I don't know how you do that exactly. Like, I don't know how you donate a lung when you're still alive. Oh my God. But this guy was like, if I can give you, if I can, you know, help do you it. out with a lung, I'm down. I'm down to clown. Wow. Going with me to karaoke gig. That sounds fun. Karaoke sounds awesome. 45 years with my love, birthday is Sunday. Carabas Italian. Oh, we haven't had a Carabas on the north side of Indy forever. I, think I we, used to love I, that place. I think we still have one on this side. I think, yeah, I think, I think you we do. do. I think yeah. you do. I'm not, I like, Italian's okay. I'm not a big Italian fan. She's like one of those weirdos who doesn't love I'm pasta. just not a big pasta person. I'm more of a, I like Mexican food and Thai food. And um, yeah, I'm just not a big Italian food person. I know that's weird. Your son but. is showing his heifer at the Beef Expo. Oh, he's showing his heifer. Oh my gosh. I love that. Well, good luck. 
Taking the wife to American Valentine at the IRT in her favorite restaurant. You can live with one lung. Is that right? Wow. You can live with one and lung. And he's going to give his, he wants to he give wants his to Rush Limbaugh. Wow. Wow. You only need half of your lungs and it grows back? That is amazing. That's amazing. Why Texas? You're asking me why Texas? Because it's freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Texas is awesome. I mean, it's. Just, I feel like when I'm there, I'm home. Like, I just love Texas so much. Taking our grandchildren out to dinner, that's so cute. Who's gonna win the Democratic South Carolina primary? They, you know, um, Steyer, they're saying Steyer is gonna. For real? Well, that's, Rob was saying Steyer because he's got a huge, um, he's got a huge black following there. Remember he was, oh, that's he right. was hypothesizing we that. that the other day. I don't we were like, gonna what? Win it. And I don't think he's gonna win it, but he may do better there. But do, I think, I just think Bernie's gonna pull it out. In, in South Carolina? He, uh, you don't know? Biden and Bernie are going to be like head to head. Wow, you better Biden better hope so because otherwise he is toast. I think he's toast anyway, you guys. I just think he's toast. What do you say when Dems attack you for being a woman who supports Trump? We laugh at them and say, please call and leave us a voicemail on our hotline uh -huh. and let us know what rights Trump has taken away from you. Yeah, this and is what they always say. We always ask for that. We've asked them for three years to tell us what rights has Trump taken away from you, and we have gotten so far. Zero calls. Zero calls. Zero emails. Zero emails. Zero messages. No messages. Zero. Nothing. They have they have never contacted us to nope. tell us what what. Because when you ask that away. question, they actually have to think about it, uh -huh. and then they realize, oh well, crap, I can do anything. Uh -huh. I want. Crickets. You hear crickets <laughs> because they can't tell you what rights have been taken away from them. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But they are always screaming about, oh my god, he's taking rights away from me. Really? What are those? Yeah, because they're. He hasn't. Yeah. Somebody asked when Bloomberg, Bloomberg is going to make a showing. He will be on the next debate stage next week. I think it's thir. I want to say it's Thursday. Standing on his debate. Standing on his box. <laughs> By the way, he is five eight. Oh which my is god! A respectable height. It, that is actually the height of my husband. Really? Who shrunk after his final? Yeah, but day. think about it. He's going to be five eight next to Trump, who is like I six know. three. I know. I mean, the 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 contrast is stark, right? But I'm just saying, it's not that, because Trump keeps saying that he's 5'4", and he's, I mean, he's a little taller than that. <laughs> uh, sick of the Bloomberg. I know, right? People keep complaining about hearing the co Bloomberg commercials even on our show. Yeah. So I, I've not even heard them. I saw them, of course, on TV. Like Beth, that was a Bowl. very sweet comment that you made. Thank you. Did you see Biden getting heckled in New York City dropout, Drop Joe? Yikes! Oh, yeah. Yikes! Yikes! Dems take more. Yeah, Dems do take more rights away because they're all about yeah. more government, more control. This is the thing. This is what mm -hmm. I never understood why they they don't understand that. You yeah, know? why they can't wrap their brains around that. Thank you for asking about my older son. He is recovering now from a bed sore, um, which those are those are hard to treat. And I'm a little irritated that he has one in the first place, um, but it's getting better. And so, and is you know, he's otherwise he's doing very very well. Thank you for asking. I can't, I can't tell. Is it Valentine's Day? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that comment's too long. We're, we can't see anything that's My like. My daughter lives in Texas. Lines. We visit for Christmas. We escape the cold Pennsylvania winter. Yeah, that's the thing. It is nice to visit, isn't it? I love Monk's glasses. Yeah, his commercials. <laughs> I love your glasses. <laughs> You've had cute, I know. I, I told have a heart on my shirt. Today. I told her today. I was like, "How?" I asked her. I'm like, "How do you have all these Valentine's clothes?" She's like, "I only have three shirts with hearts on." Yeah, them. I mean, really, that's not a lot. It's really not only, a lot. Th only three, and one of them isn't yeah. really hearts. It just was the one yesterday that said love on it. So that's not really a heart. Oh I my have God. two heart shirts. She ha basically she has three, like a whole week's worth of Valentine's. But I do clothing. have a week's worth of Valentine's clothes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you. Somebody said that they saw Bloomberg ads during our YouTube videos. Yeah, which is wow. Which is he's crazy. he's advertising to the wrong demo. <gasps> he's fi somebody says he's only five six and that Google is lying. Wow, I'm five set like almost five seven, five six and a half. Wow, we're the and on heels I would tower. Yeah, you would. Yeah, you would. Uh, what other questions do you have? Any other questions? Thank you for saying Happy, happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Did you make your Valentine boxes at school when you were a kid? Valentine's boxes? I don't not boxes, but my daughter had to get the Valentines, and so now they make it so easy because they get like little candy, you know, the the little I don't know little candy bags, and then you can just write on the outside who it's for. Oh, they make it so easy now. It's and you're like nice. required to get one for every kid. Pretty much, yeah. You yeah, back to, in our day, we could just give them to who we wanted to. Exactly, and then, remember and leave out the the smelly kids we didn't want to give them to. <laughs> 
I mean, <laughs> why do I want to give a Valentine to a smelly kid I don't want to give it to? But now exactly. you have, now you have to give it to the smelly kid. Now you got to give it to everybody, and you then do. it doesn't mean anything. Like, what's the point of doing that? Yeah. Right? You want it to be for special I people know. who are special to you. And and if you're like a loser and you end up getting not, no valentines, it's a life lesson that you grow from. Yeah, I right? remember we used to be able to buy carnations for people, and then oh, yeah. they would deliver them in home room, and then there'd be like some people who got three carnations, some would some people got zero, some people got you know. And it's and part that, of like how life works. It is, and now it's like everybody gets. It's a Valentine. <laughs> it's like everybody gets a trophy. God, it's right? so ridiculous. Somebody asked where they could get our book. You can get it on Amazon, I think, right? You can. You can I yeah. think that there are still some mm -hmm. thing, uh, some on Amazon. Or you can just send us an email, and then we can you can PayPal us, and we can send you a signed one. Yeah. We can even do that. Yeah, you can do that. Um, I remember the boxes. I don't, I remember, don't remember the boxes. The boxes. I grew up in the South. Oh, wait that, a minute. I think I do. I where you would decorate a box and it would have a slot in it, and then people would put their Valentines, your Valentines, I, in the slot, and I, then you would have a box of Valentines. I, I do remember that. I kind of don't remember that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this, this, I'm 63. We had to give them to. Really? Really? You had to give them to everybody? You had to give them to everybody, and you're 63? So yeah. back in the day, you still had to give them to every. Wow, I didn't. I did. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't have to. We just gave them to whoever. Yeah. Maybe the South was just brutal. <laughs> I don't know. Our school makes us give one to everyone. Yeah, that's how it is now. I mean, you uh -huh. could, the, you're just like flat not allowed to give them to only who you want. Mm -hmm. I mean, I. Kids can't help if they're smelly. That's on their parents. True. Some True. Some kids. Some kids can't. Some kids can't. You're right. It's true, uh, but you know, again, it's a life lesson. Really, the U.S. hasn't elected a president shorter than six foot since '76. Really, that's kind of interesting. That that's is. like a cool little factoid. That is a isn't very it? interesting factoid, huh? Next appearance. We don't. We, we haven't done. We, we have. have, have to invite. We have. We have to be invited to appear someplace. Yeah, and we haven't been invited probably. And in like, it's been what? It's six, been a few months. Lubbock. Now. Lubbock was our last big appearance. Lubbock. That well, outside of Indiana, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, because we've done some here in Indiana. Yeah, but we went to Lubbock. It was so much fun. That was fun. God, but was like, so if great. you are, you know, if you can send a note to your local or state GOP party, yeah. and you're having like a Lincoln Day dinner or something. Yeah, we love doing those. That that's that's our jam. Yeah, we we love doing appearances. Somebody was asking when and where our radio show is. It's from nine to eleven Eastern, uh, in the morning weekdays, and it's on WIBC dot com mm -hmm. if you're not here in Indianapolis. You can stream it live on your little computer. <laughs> must give to all and must write names on each in cursive. Yeah. My daughter writes cursive. She has great handwriting and she does great cursive and I'm always like she writes better than me now because I used to have great handwriting but now I don't oh because God. we're always on the computer. Mine's gone to absolute crap. Mine is so crappy now too. Come to South Carolina. You don't even know how much I want to. That's going to be my future retirement spot. Happy South Val Carolina. Happy Valentine's Day to the military people out there. You're invited to dinner at my house to speak. <laughs> <laughs> we would, you fly us out there. We'll go. We'll go. <laughs> Give the classroom Valentine's to everyone, then special cards for special people. Okay, well, that's... Love your glasses, loser Daisy. <laughs> I mean, the, you're I don't, wearing glasses. These are actual glasses. I have to actually, so I can see what you're writing. <laughs> yeah, I knew you guys would be asking questions, so I put my glasses on today. Yeah, I have to get close just to see them. I know. Facebook page says four to six p.m. at the top. Oh my god! Our I Facebook know. page? It cannot say that. No, we're actually on from nine to eleven. We Is that have, right? We haven't Where been does it say that exactly. We haven't been afternoon drive for like two two and a half years. We need to change that yeah. if it says that somewhere. I haven't seen where it says that. Yeah, we used to be afternoon drive. We're not. We're mornings now. Obviously, because we're here with you. Yeah, because we're not staying here until four o'clock mm -hmm. or until six o'clock. Come to Cape Cod. I'd love yeah, to go to fun. Cape Cod. That'd be super yeah. fun. <clears throat> that would love be to awesome. Go to Cape Cod. Thank you for all the Valentine's wishes. Any other questions? No other questions. Nobody has questions. It changed the morning. Yes, Matt, that's right. We yeah, changed in look 2015. at you. He is a fan of the <laughs> show. Yeah. Also, we have a um, um, a, a new podcast out this week too. Yeah. Uh, came out Wednesday. Com yeah, the Mock and Daisy Common Sense Cast. We we talked about sex work. We did, and it was an interesting convo for sure. Somebody says, "Come to Kansas." I went to college in Kansas, so I would love to get back there. Because University of Kansas campus, by the way, if you've never been, it's one of the most beautiful in the country, no lie, even though it's Kansas. <laughs> Heading out early today? Well, no. I mean, we don't head out early. We usually, on Fridays, we usually get the heck out of here by 11.15, yeah. though. 
I mean, usually just after the show, we'll we, we head out. Yeah. Do you ladies still need help? Um, with oh, writing, like writing on help? the site? You're welcome to send in, um, you know, like writing samples or resume or whatever to chicks on the right rule at gmail.com. We are always um, interested in taking a look. And submissions, yeah. I just tuned in what's going on with Ashley Dunn's face. Well, I'm gonna, there will be an update on the website shortly, um, but essentially she's responded to the hullabaloo. We talked about that a little earlier, so you'll wanna like rewind after we're done here. I'm not from Waco. We actually just got a place outside of Waco in a little town called Eddie. I'm not from there, we just love it there. And so that's where my husband and I will retire. We just love it. It's near Name of podcast is The Mock and Daisy Common Sense Cast. And, and thank Josh you, Joan. Loves it. Thank Joan, you, Joan. Joan. Wow, God, you I gotta get your glasses. Some, yeah, I gotta get actual glasses. I went to um, undergraduate school at University of Tennessee, and I went to graduate school at Southern Polytechnic State University, which is now Kennesaw State University. I make my morning great every day. <laughs> do we listen to Audible? I used to do like books on, on tape and stuff like that. I haven't done that in quite some time. Now, you know what I do when I get in my car? I, I actually sit in silence a lot because we are constantly talking and doing things. I either sit in silence or I listen to just a lot of music because um, we're constantly talking. <laughs> and there's a lot of talking on talk radio, a lot of talking. It's constant talking. Yeah, so I like music. I do listen, I listen to that book on Audible, I guess, of that self-help lady that I told you about the other day. Yeah. For a friend of mine who wanted me to listen to it. Um, but I don't particularly like listening to books. Mel Robbins. You were listening to yes, Mel Robbins. Yes, Mel Robbins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hat, are Chip and Joanna in your house? <laughs> no. You know, it's funny. I've been to Magnolia many times, and I've always wondered, am I ever going to see them? And I, we, we never You do. will. I think you will. You think eventually we'll see them? I mean, yeah. it would be almost impossible they, not to, Because right? they are literally taking over Waco. <laughs> right. So I feel like you're, you're going to see <laughs> so them you, you at some think, point. You think at some point we would. Hello from Iowa. Hi. Yeah. We'd love to meet you, too. People are so nice. I know. You guys are Speaking very of sweet. being nice, if you could leave a nice comment and review on our Facebook page to yeah. combat all the recent trolls that have been hitting us so hard. God, people are mean. I know. Mean. They're, they're pretty mean. Have we ever been to Arkansas? Bentonville. She said, please come to Bentonville. I don't think I, I don't have. think we've ever been to Arkansas. Mm -mm. I mean, I've been through Arkansas our driving to Texas, but I don't. Under our po on, on our podcast page? Like on iTunes? Or are you saying on our Facebook page somewhere? Um, if you could let us know where to change that, I would. That would be great. Did Rob bring us candy or donuts? <laughs> Give me a break. We did Rob. get Sherry's berries from one of our favorite fans. Rob would never um, bring us gifts. Kieran got us Sherry's mm -hmm. berries, which I am devouring. We are we are happy if Rob gets the audio. <laughs> and my ginormous dogs are doing great. <laughs> Cash Cash and Astrid are my ginormous Great Danes, and they are doing wonderful. They just destroy everything. That's why I can't have nice things. <laughs> oh, thank you, Robin. How much time do we have? We probably have another two, three minutes, you guys. Just left a nice comment. Thank you so much for oh doing my gosh, that. Thank, thank you. you. Did you see all the mean ones? You should go look at the mean. I mean, it's bad. Like, if you sort them by latest, then you'll see that there's just been a recent onslaught of mean, mean people. Yeah. So mean. Does Rob have a girlfriend? Should we answer that? I, that is his business. Yeah. To Rob is, some, is it Rob has some interesting personal stuff going on right, right now. So we're gonna just we're gonna let that one sit, and then maybe we'll answer that in another month. Someone asked How's for my that? secret to always being happy, and I have no idea how to answer that because I just have always been this way. Um, so I don't know how to tell people how to be like that. I think it's a choice, right? I mean, I you choose to be happy. I guess so. I think you just choose. Rob, mm. uh, somebody, somebody asked if you have a girlfriend. Just you two. <laughs> and we said this was a personal we can't, question. We that said we just are not going to answer. answer that question. Because, and, and I Jeez, thought that these was, two broads are right that, here. Where, where is girlfriends? <laughs> uh huh. So, so you're basically dodging that question. You're not answering the question. We have things to do. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So we're in trouble. So again, so that is not going to get answered clearly. I guess you're not going to get an answer to the question. <laughs> Somebody's like, "Tell us the dirt on Rob." Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll tell you that probably in the next month. Is yeah, that, I, we're going to force his hand on that at some point. At some he's point, yeah. Spill. 
So yeah. okay, you got. No, he does not have a boyfriend. He does not have a boyfriend. Oh my god! So. He's gonna have to. Yeah, he's gonna have to talk about that soon. You guys, we hope you yeah. have the best weekend. It's Valentine's Day, and weekend. we're gonna put some pressure on him. Yeah, it, to we'll answer make that. Sure Maybe next week we'll get him to. And being happy is a up. choice, and we hope you guys are happy this weekend and have the best weekend ever. I know she's gonna like. It's gonna be. That's great. gonna be great. It's gonna be lit, as the kids would say. <laughs> Bring it in. Bring it in. Oh my gosh. You guys, happy Valentine's happy Day weekend. Valentine's. We'll talk to you on Monday. Bye. Bye.